Hey guys, welcome to my very first ever Sega Saturn Day. So, why is it Sega Saturn Day? Well, it's Saturday today, or it was when I started making this video. It's now Sunday at 1 o'clock in the morning. But never mind that, Sega Saturday is here. Saturn Day. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, for the very first one, I am going to go back to the very first Sega Saturn game that I ever actually played. Which is the amazing, you've guessed it already, Virtual Fighter. So, my history with this game is that I first actually seen this in the arcades. Um, I don't exactly know when it was because I never got the game or the, the Saturn on launch or anything like that. So, um, I remember seeing it in the arcades. I was with my friends and we went in there. Um, I think we, we, we took a bus. Because there was no arcades where I lived, you know, it was in the middle of nowhere. So we took a bus for an hour um, to Hamilton and uh, got off and went into the arcades, which was something that we used to do kind of semi often, not too often, but often enough to, um, you know, be a, be a bit of a, a cost worry. But yeah, so we, we did that, went in. It had Virtua Fighter, I remember seeing it for the first time. Now, I can't stress enough how much of a game changer this game was at the time. I mean, by comparison, this machine was in the, in the arcades and the machine next to it was Wonder Boy, believe it or not, at 10 pence ago. So I remember that. And there was also 2D fighters as well there, I remember. The, the Jackie Chan game was there, I remember Pit Fighter being there, I remember. But this just, it just tore them to pieces, you know. This was just unbelievable graphics at the time when I seen this. And um, my friend Kevin, who was with me at the time, he went on and he was one of these kids who always got the very latest things, you know. He always had the, the most up-to-date consoles, the most up-to-date toys and things like that and it wasn't long until Christmas time and he of course went for the Sega Saturn for Christmas with Virtua Fighter um, but before that he'd actually seen he actually rented a Sega Saturn from Blockbuster if you can believe it or not um, he rented that and he also rented out the PlayStation as well it, his family must have had a lot of money or something like that I don't know but these weren't things that I could do in my, in my family, but because you had to leave a deposit of something like £350, which was insane at the time, you know. Um, so yeah, he did. He got the Saturn and he got the PlayStation on rental, and then Christmas time he, he got the Saturn and he decided that that was the console for him. Um, so he got that, and I was kind of left thinking, well, if you've got Saturn, then I'll probably eventually get the PlayStation because there's not much point in us having, both having the same console because we're living in each other's houses half the time, um, you know, and we'll, we'll be able to kind of experience a bit more games and things like that if we both get a different console. So he got the Saturn and I got the PlayStation, but I didn't get the PlayStation until like another year later or something like that. Um, and I was stuck with a Mega Drive uh, for time a year when he was playing the Sega Saturn so I used to go over to his house play all his games um, he used to always have the latest stuff but he was always trading in stuff you know he was always kind of swapping like three or four games for one new game and stuff like that which was just absolute nonsense you know um, but Virtua Fighter was one of those titles that was just a standout title it was just Absolutely insane at the time. Nothing was like at the time. I was still playing Mortal Kombat 3 on my Mega Drive thinking it was awesome and this just took it to the next level. Although it did have its critics to be honest with you. Um, it was one of these games that people saw and they thought it doesn't look that great. Mm, I can see where they're coming from but what kind of got me I guess was how smooth the game was. It was just you know, it was just silky smooth, so, and it was such a polished game, but now when I come back and I look at it in hindsight, I may have some different thoughts on the game, um, obviously when this came out, hot on its heels, 
I guess, in, in, in Europe anyway, was Virtua Fighter 2, and that was such a better game, um, graphics-wise, um, gameplay-wise as well, but at the end of the day, Virtua Fighter, as I say, there was nothing like it at the time, it just, yeah, it was insane. Um, I later went on with my PlayStation and got Tekken and Tekken 2 and stuff like that, and we made obvious comparisons to Virtua Fighter. Um, as it stands, I'm still, the, the, the jury's still out on that one, Kirken vs Virtua Fighter for me. Um, I can see merits of both, although I did end up probably playing Tekken more just because I had a PlayStation. Um, but certainly, again, you have the same argument again when it comes to Virtua Fighter 2 or Tekken 2, and again, I played the hell out of them both. So, yeah. I didn't actually get a Saturn myself, my very own Saturn, until I think it was 1998 and I actually picked up one, I think it was second hand out of that yellow paper that you used to get, so people had obviously moved on by 1998, the Saturn was kind of floundering, big style, dead pretty much, so I was able to pick up one very cheaply and I bought a bunch of games with it. And one of the games was of course Witcher Fighter, so I was quite pleased with that. I was always a little bit behind with stuff like that, I always saw the value in stuff that other people didn't see the value in. Um, so people selling off their old stuff, I was quite happy to you know, buy it up and, and, and play it. So yeah, so yeah, that's how I got hold of my Sega Saturn. And um, if you, you guys follow me on Twitter, you might know that I only recently managed to repair that Saturn. Uh, it needed a new laser, and um, I, it's needed a new laser for years, to be honest with you, right? But it's one of those scenarios where I ordered it, and I'd left it sitting there, and I did nothing with it. And it's just pure laziness on my part, to be honest with you. Um, but I also had another Sega Saturn, a Model 2 as well, which I bought separately, and I've been using that, so losing my Model 1 didn't really mean that much to me, but what happened with that one is it started developing a power supply fault, so I had two dodgy SARS, I had one with a broken laser and one with a power supply issue, so now changed the laser on my Sega Saturn, so I'm going to get cracking and do some Saturn plays as well now, so yeah, I'm just going to have a go of Virtua Fighter now, um, you know, see how far I get, don't expect to finish it or anything like that, it's just purely just for um, playing and having a bit of talk and play at the same time, so yeah, I'm going to flip over to the Sega Saturn now. Alright, so this is the Sega Saturn and you can see, it's a beautiful game, it really is a beautiful game. So let me just check. Okay, so I'm going to do. What options do you get in this? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Life gauge, match point, two points, 30 seconds, enemy level normal. Yeah, I'll just leave that on normal. Voice test. There's a lot of cool options in there. But I'm just going to go for the arcade. Prepare for battle, it says. Oh. Look, look how. Uh, how good looking these guys are. Wow. You've got a countdown. So I always used to think that this guy was the best guy, I think. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for Sarah, who I believe is in all the Virtua Fighter games. Oh, look at that win she gave me. To you too, darling. Yeah. Okay. Get your polygonal face over here. That's it. Okay. Let's see if I can remember some moves. Oh, a knee to the face for Jackie. Oh, another knee to the face and it's a ring out. Look at her nose. <laughs> oh, at some point she just did there, what a doll. Right, here we go. Do some backflips. Oh, another knee to the face. How did you not see that coming, Jackie? Knee to the face again. Yeah. Fighting games for me, um, 
you know, it was where I was at back in the day. I, I love a good, a good fighting game. It's really weird though playing this now and uh, being in 3D mode, but at the same time not being able to kind of move up and down and rotate around the player and things like that. So that's the first level. Oh, I'll get that for a combo, eh? Oh, I hit the pause button there by accident. He's picked me up, he's gave me a good throw there. This guy's Jeffrey. Who chose the names for these guys? Honestly, Jeffrey. Jeffrey! He'll go to the face to finish you off, Jeffrey. Go back to Rainbow. Right, here we go. Take you down, buddy Jeffrey. You're going down. Look at that back for a bit. Didn't see that. Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh! Sweet Mr. Miyagi style. There we go. Kick to the face. I'm kind of looking at this now and I'm thinking the moves are quite limited. Um, look at her. Hot as hell, isn't she? Oh, this this is how they call you, wasn't it? You meet, you fight yourself. That's the the more difficult level. Ooh, I'm tricky. So I'm. Ooh, finish her in the face. Right, let's see. Beat yourself here. Yeah. A knee to the face. Oh, she's a sucker for that knee to the face. Oh, got her out easy. That was a ring out as well, I think. Wait, who's next? Who's next? Cage. I don't like the way she does two backflips instead of one, to be honest with you. Alright, okay. It's quite weird because at a time when um, beat em ups became really kind of combo focused and learning different combinations with hundreds of buttons and stuff, here comes Virtua Fighter and it's, it's very much kind of two buttons does everything. trying to keep him at a distance because he's quite oh I knew he was gonna get me there. Can still can still win. Or maybe not. Yeah K just got other ideas here. I look sore. K just totally just thrashed me there. You lose. Continue, yep we will continue. Prepare for battle again. Ah, right, you can choose another fighter. That was unexpected. I'm just going to choose Sarah again, though, because I'm sure I can beat this guy. I mean, there's not many moves to learn because it's two buttons at the end of the day, so. Yep, you, your fancy fly kick buddy. And you just get kicked in the face afterwards. Hope that hurt. Maybe it was a fluke. I beat this guy the first time. Oh, he's getting me close to the edge now. Need to watch that. It's quite a movie he's got there though. Right, I can't beat this guy. Surely I can beat this guy. I'll try again. Come on, Sarah. Fight one. Ready, go. He's getting different every time. It's interesting the AI here. Don't 
doesn't seem as uh, simple as what I thought. was a technicality win there. Three, ready, go. Do your mad head rogue thing. You blocked. The bastard blocked. I'm not gonna get by this guy. Was this the third or fourth level? Ridiculous. Right, let's try again. Let's try again here. Come on, Sarah Bryant from America, college student with a skydiving hobby. You can do it. You can beat Cage. Not with that. Not with Star Wars like that. You can't. Right, come and get me. Resort to that tactic. The bastard did that on purpose. Half your life at the start when he does that. So like you're just getting up punched. But it's still got it, so I'm happy with that. Oh, come on, Gim. Gim, come on. Yes! Yes! We beat Cage! Finally! Beat Cage! You goddamn buster! Hi. She's even more hard, I think. Okay, here we go. Hmm. No wonder you're happy. Come on, 
one, Sarah. You can do it. Your secret pie, come on. Oh, I was got I got lucky there. Really did get lucky there. Unfortunately, because of the way that they kind of it's almost a 2D fighter, I guess. You can't you can't get out of the way. Once you get close to the edge, that's it. Unless you manage to jump over them. I should just was trying there for a laugh. Slow Sarah, come on. All over in like 18 seconds there. Near as good at this as it used to be. Oh. Should have had her earlier there.
that's the kind of strategy you do with your mates, isn't it? Little combat and stuff. Come on, keep falling for it. Come on, you only need a couple of hits now. Yes! Yes! Yes, we beat Pi. Down your bitch. Sorry, that was a bit strong. Came across a bit strong. Who's this wolf? as well, how's this? There's no way that Wolf is harder than Pi, I'm telling you. Right, who's next? Ah, Lau, he's hard. He's going to be hard. Yeah, I knew it. I haven't landed a blow yet. Get up! Attempt against Lau, I think. How many guys is there left? Fight. One. Okay, Lau, you're going down. Or I'm going down, more likely. Oh, just owned me, big time. Try and keep my distance. Oh, managed to pull one back. It's pretty good there. how they tell you all those handy stats about the players, their blood type, which is helpful. I don't know why I needed to know that, the blood type is AB. Gave me a tank in there. He's laughing at me now. Me. I think this is going to be my last go against Lau for the night anyway. to do a throw and then to just strip your stick on me. Owned with a capital P. Where's the 
We're not worthy, Lau. We're not worthy. So that was me getting my ass handed to me in Virtua Fighter. As you can see, a bit out of practice on that one. I'm going to continue to have another few goals and things like that. Um, I don't know, when I do these videos, I'm just kind of doing them at this time. Um, it's quite late at night, so I kind of have a very limited amount of time that I can actually put into it. So, 1.43 in the morning now, so I've been playing this for a good bit of time now. Um, I think it's time to call it quits. But yeah, quite happy with how I did there in Virtua Fighter. I thought I would have got a bit further, has to be said. I thought I got onto the, the end boss. But I do always remember that um, Pi was quite a difficult one to beat, and Lau were always quite difficult to beat. And I think maybe it's just because I'm using Sarah there as well. Um, and I'm not really all that sure if I'm, if I'm using all the moves that I could be using. So maybe I have a read of the manual at some point and see uh, if we can find out what the best moves are for each character. But yeah, that was good. Um, I actually quite enjoyed playing Virtua Fighter there. Um, once you strip everything away, you see what's kind of left there. It's a solid fight, and even, even with the basic graphics now, you know, it, it's smooth. The moves make sense. The moves flow from one move to another. So, yeah, really enjoyed that. But yeah, closing remarks, I guess. Virtua Fighter, um, still very cheap game to pick up for the Sega Saturn. Um, you can get copy, I've seen a copy on there going for £8 on eBay and buy it now tonight. So yeah, it's well worth picking up if you've got a Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn is starting to get a bit more expensive now unfortunately, um, but a lot of these kind of titles, the, 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 the most common title, one of the most common titles on the game, on the system, you know, is always going to be fairly cheap and within everyone's reach hopefully so yeah pretty good enjoyed that and say thanks for watching tonight um as always if you want to leave me a comment leave me a like or even subscribe if you're feeling generous and you know i'll keep these videos going so sega saturn's a bit different for me i'm normally doing master system so you know this is a good change and uh hopefully it's the start of uh a bit more variety on the channel. But yeah, that's good. Right, thanks again. I'll see you the next time.